Okay, guys, we're gonna start this off pretty simple. Yeah, for TF2 Sundays, we're gonna start these eps. Well, this ep, anyways, out of the two. And well, a head stereotypes vid followed by me having fun with the All Father. But I guess I'll need to talk first. We are on the head stereotypes for demo now, and Thank you to all those who pop their suggestions via here, Steam, Twitter, Facebook. You get the idea. And because of that, I came up with a lovely assortment of about 12 to 13 hacks. So let's get into it. In three, two, one. Now, the first hat I'm going to talk about is the Tipplers Tricorn. These guys, and I will be doing these maybe in segments, maybe not, these guys here are pretty simple. They're always on Capture the Flag servers or servers where there's a lot of places to jump with the Sticky Jumper. And why? The Loose Cannon. These guys here love double donking and they're pretty dang good at it, so be ready. They also either run with a frying pan or a uh, caber. I guess on to our next guy here, then, eh? Nah, I won't cut. I won't do cuts. Now, to focus on the hat, we'll take this off. And of course, I'm going to have to kill myself. For good reason, because for whatever reason, it won't respawn me. But these guys here. These guys are demo knights. And in particular, there's one demo knight they, uh, they take after a lot, and that is Islander. And that is an I, L A N D E R. That Islander. Look him up on YouTube. He's one of the best demo knights you'll ever find, and for good reason. On Steam, he's known as Sea Man. So yeah, he knows all the trimp spots, and he, well, is a god with the Islander. His most popular video: Islander with the Islander on Highlander. Not to mention, but compared to King Raja, I like his Demo Knight tutorial better. Granted, I run Bootlegger where he runs Wee Booties, but that's because, in my opinion, they're the same. Though, yeah. There's a good look at the hat. Even better look. Oh, this guy. You're going to love this guy. Just making sure I got the taunts. This is all this guy does. Now granted, he doesn't use this weapon. You wanna know the weapon he uses? Oh, my bad. Wrong one. It's this one. Any chance he gets, he gets to be a drunk. That's Corona. Yeah. This guy is drunk demo man, but in a good way. He 
He uh, also is a total bro, and as I said, drunk demo. He also plays like he's drunk, but yeah, he's a fun guy to have on your team. Again, excuse me, I have to kill myself to, to reset the hat. You all know where this is going, right? Hmm? Do ya? Do ya? Do ya? Now, yes, I know the bounty hat is technically all class, but no one wears it <laughs> on anyone except Demo Man. Granted, there are the few uh, try-hard spy mains who would wear it, who would think they can be fancy with it, but otherwise, people. There are no other people who wear this besides Demo Pants, and there's for a reason. They love killing people with a frickin' frying pan for good reason. Loud frickin' noises. If I didn't have this muted because of some weird volume problem I have right now, you would not be happy with me. Yeah. And I know, that's... But I guess we'll need to go into our next guy. And again, I'm going to take off all my misks. Not because I don't want to, but I want to show you what the hat looks like in its raw form. Sorry, Macho Man, I love you to death, but... This guy here, uh, let me get a better view for you. A Glen Gary demo. Excuse me, I'll also shift myself up. Shift myself up. This guy here, well, let's just say he's one hell of a carry. He's on your team. Yeah, he'll carry the crud out of you. If you're going against him, be ready to get stomped. Now this is the part where I guess I'll tell people, that, tell you guys that if you're new to the play the game, like you know, the game that is the team defense fort two, that a lot of people get salty around demo. I mean I can understand why sticky spam is not liked and yeah I can understand why. And this guy will use stickies, but as I said. He'll carry the crap out of you, or he'll just, well, stomp you if you're on the enemy team. He also prefers stock. Now, this guy. It's basic. Lock and load God. People say the lock and load's a crutch. He shows them wrong. He shows them what happens when, you know, there is a guy with godlike pipe aim. Like I said, it's either Iron Bomber or it's frickin' lock and load. Neither way, he'll show you. Now, even though I don't use the lock and load, I can understand why. It's one hell of a way to kill sentries, so it makes sense, right? So let's get on to our next tab. I guess it's just the time where I talk about the tar the Tarleon, eh? First off, this guy, he loves to square dance. If any chance he gets, he gets, he likes to, uh, you know, start a conga line, any like that. But it's always the Persian Persuader or the Hab Zadoichi for when he's demo knighting. He understands that they have redonkulous hitboxes, and 
that the Pers Persian Persuader is one hell of a weapon to use when demo knighting. And I will say, if you kill a, if you see, and I will say this though, don't kill a friendly while he's on your team, while he's on their team, while he's on their team, because he will hunt you down, and he will kill you. He also wears wee booties. Let's see, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. I for oh right, I remember what this guy, but I don't get it. I hate when I don't reset. Now I guess I'll need to talk about this guy. First off, there's only one ma if he's demo knighting. There's only one weapon he uses, and that's the golf club, because, well, he knows it's a reskin and all for the Islander, but it's a freaking golf club, and yeah, it's intriguing to see these guys in the field. Now, it's a little bit of a war pig. Now, for those who remember, war pigs are blo are, are associate are guys who, well, think they can just go murder an entire team. And they don't know their skill level. They think it's way higher than it really is. These guys here. Well, they kind of know their skill. They know what their skill level is, but they challenge themselves. They challenge themselves to go take out triple heavy with nothing but stock grenade with nothing but a stock a stock launch grenade launcher and a freaking golf club. And I don't care if they don't got a healer on. They're going to try. And even though they fail. Mostly. There are the few times I've seen these guys pull their weight. So, yeah. You'll love this guy's hat. I'm just getting everything set up. Granted, I'm going to uh, have to change my loadout just a little bit. This guy don't use this. We'll talk about this guy in a bit. Yeah, let's go. Again, I'm going to have to kill myself because it didn't set the loadout. But should after this. I'm sorry about this, friendly. This guy here. This is what we call a jumper demo. If you've ever seen... Uh, well, first off, he always hangs out in jump servers. And he's a master at sticky jumping. With the sticky jumper and without it. He also prefers the quickie bomb launcher, which is... Ugh, I hate that thing. So he's pretty dang good at stickies. But again, he's what we call a jumper knight. He goes around killing people by sticky jumping them and, having them and getting them out. These guys are also the people who wish that Demo Man has a market garden. To the point where I've had to create one. So. Sorry about that. That was unintentional. Oh, you're going to love this guy. This mother chucker right here. 
Fair enough. Insert your Lincoln Park joke. You know, you know the one I'm talking about. Secondly, he thinks he's a pipe god. He thinks he can be as good as the Scotsman stovepipe demos. <laughs> uh, sorry, brother. Not today. Granted, if they're demo nighting, it's a different story. These guys always prefer the skull cutter for that damage bonus. These guys are not one to mess with on that ladder. So be careful. Like I guess it's guaranteed chance of death because of that. Excuse me. But like I says, if they're trying to be demo man, they suck at aiming pills. This is these are the guys who use the lock and load as a crutch. But if they're demo knighting, it's a different story. They're demo knight gods. Not like Islander god level, but god level. Again, I'm sorry. It stopped resetting. So I'm forced to kill myself. Uh, what do I need to talk about these guys? You want to know these guys here? MBM gods. They understand how overpowered the freaking... They understand how over freaking powered the Scottish resistance is at giving people the old. Yeah. They also will try to kill people with a caber. And they prefer the lock and load as well. Though they are very comfortable with using stock. Excuse me, why, uh... This is going to be glorious, by the way. Sorry, I have to give these guys their tribute. As I said, MVM God, Total Bro, help you out. These guys here, oh, you're going to love them. First off, these guys here, uh, let me get you a better look. They're what we call a sticky knight. Sticky jumper, clay to more, or some weapon that benefits. They're also the type that use the base jumper, even though it's been nerfed. Like I said, it's all about death from above. They're also about 50% good with aiming stock. Because they understand how to abuse source engine, which is well... Let's, uh, yeah, but like I said, it's either skull cutter or, uh, or sticky jumper for them, with the, or the, uh, clay to more for them. They like the, uh, they like the Islander, but they refuse to use shields. They're really fun to play with, but a pain to play against. I respect any guy who's crazy enough to go sticky night. Partially because, well, I can't do it. And. Well, now onto my hat. Yes, my hat of personal choice. 
Okay, you got the right thing. Sadly, a lot of these hats are going to get sold. Except for a very select few. And of course, my personal loadout. Which, I think it's time to equip. Don't mind that. Ah, the voodoo juju slide ripper. Besides people saying it's a gibbous reskin, these guys are freaking demo knights down to the core. And it's my preferred hat, my personal hat, to the point where so much that I'm going to freaking get me an unusual version. Upset hat, and it's that or I'm going to get a Rebel Glove Pyro, unusual. But yeah, this is my preferred hat. This is my preferred loadout, and for good reason. The Voodoo Juju is one of the, well, not the best hat, but is a forgotten hat. And I'm going to bring it back along with its former friend. These guys prefer the Shred Alert taunt, by the way. And it's boot, and it, they. It's bootlegger. They also understand how overpowered Decletamore is, even in its current state. And at any given chance, we'll go for the kill taunt. As I said, I love these guys. And for good reason. Because, because. And I, because of them, I have learned to be a better demo knight. To the point where I hardly even demo man anymore. But yeah, that's it for today. But a quick look at what you're going to be seeing very soon after this video. Have a good one, and see ya.